Hello everyone and good day to all. I'm Sampurna Ratan Jain and today we are going to talk about a very detailed data science roadmap in which we are going to cover everything from ML ops to white coding and obviously machine learning, deep learning and gen AI. This will be a long roadmap but remember that with discipline everything can be done. In fact, I have this quote that I like from Calvin Coolidge that I would just like to parrot out to you guys. Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated losers. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Only with persistent discipline will you be able to conquer the world. Remember, be persistent and remember the first rule of persistency. Never miss two days in a row. It's okay to miss one day, but never miss two days in a row. Let's start with the roadmap. The first step that you'll need to do is learn about basics, data structures and conditional statements. After that, you'll need to learn loops, list comprehensions, error handling, and virtual environments. All of this you can learn by giving two hours daily in one week. In the second week, you will learn about functions, lambda functions, randomization, and file handling. In the third week, you should learn about classes, inheritance, and multi-threading. In the fourth week, you need to learn about working with APIs, databases, and testing frameworks. That's all you need to learn for Python. In one month, your Python is done. The next thing that we need to learn is data analytics and business intelligence. And yes, data scientists also need to be data analysts as well. In the fifth week, you will learn the power of Excel. Then you will learn about SQL commands, especially Postgres, then NoSQL and MongoDB. Then you will have two weeks for an exploratory data analysis project. Then we'll start with dashboarding. In the first week, you'll learn about the principles of dashboarding. Learn about what are brand guidelines, how to use color consistently, what is data aesthetics and story guidelines. You'll learn about that. Then you will learn about Plotly Dash. Then you will learn about Power BI, Tableau, and you will take a couple of weeks for a Power BI or Tableau dashboard project. All of this should take you about 10 weeks at the most. So in two and a half months, data analytics is also done. Before you actually start with data science, you will need to learn about wipe coding and AI pair programming. You will need to learn all of the AI programming tools like GitHub Copilot, Cursor, Claude Code, or something that is free like Roo and Line Code. 2025 is a breakthrough year for learners with Nation Skill Up. 10 lakh plus started their learning journey with access to free courses. Thousands of them gained real skills, landed better roles, and took control of their careers. However, a much bigger chunk struggled to complete it fully, learning, finishing, and applying what they've learned. Nation Skill Up taught us a very important truth. Skills aren't built by enrolling in courses, they're built through discipline, accountability, and committed learning. Completion is where real transformation happens, and that's where most learners fall behind. That's why Geeks for Geeks has now launched the 390 Challenge, a first-of-its-kind initiative designed to help you start strong, stay consistent, complete your learning, and earn back what you invest. So what is this 390 Challenge? Well, it's simple. Choose any tech course of your choice and achieve 90% completion within the first 90 days of enrolling in that course. And once you're done, you get 90% of what you pay refunded back to your bank accounts. And that's right, that's the 390s, 90% completion in 90 days to get a 90% refund. Another important question many of you would have is why take this challenge? It's still enrolling in a course. How will it help you stand out and achieve your career dreams? Well, this challenge isn't just about motivation. It's about completing what you started. Every organization doesn't look just for employees. They look for completion, dedication, and results. And that is what the 390 challenge sets you up for. When open-ended learnings fail, clear deadlines don't. 
completing 90% of a structured course means you've gone beyond the basics, you've practiced real skills, and you've built discipline. The 390 challenge forces you to finish what you start, and that's a rare skill in itself. This is the year you'll commit and complete. So enroll now. Then you will learn about all of the vibe coding tools and the principles of agentic code design. Then you will finally set up your workflow around agentic workflow around vibe coding and you will have multiple small projects. This should take you no more than four weeks again. We are at the 18th week of your persistency. You will learn about basic statistics, including measures of central tendency, dispersion and, uh, and spread. Then you will learn about linear algebra, probability and calculus. I advise you to solve one algorithm whether that be deep learning based algorithm or linear regression end to end in using pen and paper. Maths for data science should not be given more than one month. Next, you will have machine learning. Finally, we start with machine learning. After almost four and a half months, we are finally starting with machine learning. You have to basically understand first feature engineering and data transformation. Then you for understand regression models. You give a couple of weeks to that then clustering models, then classification models, decision trees and forests should be a separate topic on its own right. Then you learn about how to use NLP in machine learning. Then you learn about anomaly detection models and time series forecasting. Finally, you learn about model tuning and optimization and model evaluation metrics. Give a couple of days to understand the challenges of machine learning and how to overcome them. Machine learning should not take you more than 10 weeks again. Then we enter the realm of deep learning. You should learn about the basic neural network architecture. You should learn about the process of neural networks training. You should know about training challenges and how to improve performance. Then you should learn about basics of PyTorch. In that, you should implement our standard feed-forward neural network. Then you should learn about convolutional neural network and recurrent neural networks. Finally, you should learn about transfer learning using PyTorch. Then you should look at some significant computer vision models, some interesting natural language processing models, and maybe some other models like layout LM, which are multimodal. We finally move to Gen AI. In Gen AI, you should cover transformers in absolute and complete detail. Give yourself two weeks to understand transformers. Then you should learn about hugging face and how to do transfer learning with hugging face. Although we have done it with PyTorch, but doing, trans uh, doing transfer learning with hugging face is a separate challenge in itself. Before you actually start with large language models, you should understand Gen AI glossary and prompt engineering. Then you should understand embeddings, what are embeddings, how are embeddings used and vector databases. Next, you move to LangChain and then you work on a RAG project using LangChain. Next, you should get into something called as Olama for local large language models. And then you should understand how to implement guardrails for large language models. Finally, you should look at LLM evaluation. How and why LLM evaluation is done in today's day and age and why is it so difficult? Now we enter the realm of agentic AI. First, you should learn about agentic frameworks like Crew AI, Pydantic AI, Autogen. And then you should learn about how agents, crews, tasks, processes, and tools work. You should create at least three projects, one for prompt engineering, one for RAG, and one for agentic. Agentic AI may be hyped, but it is probably the easiest way to solve any, part, any particular problem. Now you move into ancillary services. You move into MLOps. You should learn shell, Git, and data version control. You should learn how to create a fast API. You should learn how to package your model and that API in a Docker container. 
and then if you have to scale how do you scale it scale the model using kubernetes next you should learn about experiment tracking using ml flow then you should learn about llm life cycle management what is prompt management how do you evaluate llms how what are some tools that you can use to help you do that then what is llm observability finally you should look into a tool called as agent ops for agentic ai solution monitoring that's pretty much it all of this can be done in one single year 52 weeks are much more than enough to learn all of data science and things surrounding data if you think that i miss something if you like the road map please let me know and again remember be persistent ensure that you have discipline don't ever miss two days in a row okay it's okay to miss one day but never two days in a row thank you